An aviation first of sorts, uh, a flight across the English Channel in a plane powered only by lithium batteries. This is the plane, it's called an E-Fan, it's been uh, designed and built by Airbus. It's a project which has been up and running for a year or so now, but this was its, its first major flight, if you like, across the Channel. It took about 40 minutes in all uh, and uh, was just the pilot on board successful crossing, everything looked very good there. Uh, interestingly though, uh, if he thought he was entering the record books, he may find he's rather disappointed because only last night, it appears a Frenchman made a journey from Calais over to England and back again in an electrical plane. So there's a little bit of uh, uncertainty as to who gets bragging rights on this, but the pictures we have are of this Airbus E-Fan. Uh, either way, good news for the French, because uh, the French are the ones who are piloting it at the very least. Lucy Williamson joins us from Paris. They are great pictures, Lucy, and it's quite an achievement, but um, we're not quite sure who to, who to be um, most proud of at the moment. No, and with this new stage of aviation history, there's an awful lot of competition to be the first to grab the limelight. There's a lot riding on this for commercial companies. There's the fact that these electric planes make almost no noise. They have no emissions, of course. And according to reports we're getting today, the, the E-Fan plane w could cost as little as £10 an hour to fly. So a really big incentive for everyone to be first. Now, as you say, the, the Airbus plane has been bigged up, publicised for some time this flight, may have been pipped at the post by Hugues Duval flying his plane, his electric plane across the channel. Um, Airbus is saying that he may have set off in a different plane, there may have been reasons why it doesn't count. Of course there are disputes around these things, that's going to be settled in the coming days we hope.